Hey guys, this is Dr. Ron, your master vet. For today's topic, pag-uusapan natin ang feline respiratory disease complex sa pusa. Without further ado, let's start the discussion for today. My discussion for today is all about feline respiratory disease complex. When we say feline respiratory disease complex, it is a set of respiratory disease caused by a group of organisms that can cause infection alone or together sa cat. What are the clinical signs? O ano-ano yung mga nakikita natin na palatandaan o sintomas kapag ang pusa ay may respiratory infection? Number one is inflammation of the eyes or conjunctivitis. So, nakikita natin na namumula, namamaga yung mata ng pusa. Second one is inflammation of nasal and sinus lightning. So, namamaga yung loob ng ilong ng pusa. The third one is excessive tear production, luha ng luha, ang mata ng pusa. And the last one is mouth sores. So, nagkakaroon ng sugat yung loob at labas ng bibig ng pusa. And what are these organisms na nagkakos ng respiratory infections? So, we have five. Number one is feline viral rhinotracheitis, also known as feline herpes virus type 1. We have feline calici virus. We have chlamydia infection. Mycoplasma infection, feline infection, peritonitis virus, and rio virus. Pag-uusapan lang natin yung naunang dalawa, yung feline viral rhinotracheitis and feline calice virus. Una, yung feline viral rhinotracheitis, also known as feline herpes virus type 1. So, ano yung nakikita natin na palatandaan or signs kapag ang husa ay mayroon feline viral rhinotracheitis? Number one, fever. Nilalagnat ang husa. And it may reach up to 40.5 degrees Celsius. So, napakataas. At yung fever ay on and off. Second one is frequent sneezing. So, nakikita natin na yung pusa ay hatching ng hatching. So, pwede yung movement or excitement can cause a sneezing sa pusa. The third one is inflammation of the eyes. So, conjunctivitis. Again, namumula, namamaga ang mata ng pusa. Another one is inflammation of the nasal and sinus lightning or rhinitis. So, nakikita natin na may problema sa loob ng ilong. Ito ay namamaga at ito ay namukula. And salivation. So nakikita natin kapag may viral rhinotracheitis yung kan laway ng laway. So initially, nakikita natin yung ilong at mata ng pusa. So may discharge na lumalabas dito. Very clear. The next day, Mari makita natin uh, mucus yung lumalabas and the following days dahil sa tagal so may pas na lumalabas so may green yellow discharge na lumalabas sa ilong o sa mata ng pusa because of infection nakikita natin yung pusa na very depressed, very weak nangihihit na and mawawala yung appetite ng pusa and these signs, itong nakikita natin na mga clinical signs or symptoms can persist. Maaring tumagal ito sa katawan ng pusa 5 to 10 days in milder cases. And up to 6 weeks naman sa mga severe cases. So, so nakikita natin na yung pusa ay may problema. Sa mata, sa ilong. So, itong virus na ito, 
uh, pwede itong magstay. So, it can remain sa katawan ng pusa in an active stage throughout its life. So, what does it mean? Ibig sabihin na itong virus na ito, kapag yung pusa ay mayroong ganitong uri ng virus, feline viral rhinotrachitis, so hindi ito nawawala sa katawan ng pusa. Pwedeng mawala yung infection, pwedeng mawala yung mga clinical signs na nabanggit ko kanina, pero yung virus nasa loob lang ng katawan ng pusa. Ito ay natutulog lang, tinatawag natin na inactive stage. So pwede itong ma-reactivate or pwede itong gumising and can cause infection kapag yung immune system ng cat ay bumaba at na-stress yung pusa. At dadami ulit sila, magkakos ito ng infection and the cycle repeats. So makikita natin ulit yung mga clinical signs na nabanggit ko kanina, yung pamumula ng mata, pamamaga. So namamaga yung nasal and sinus lightning, paglalaway, at may makikita tayo na pagsusugat sa loob at labas ng bibig ng pusa. Another one, pag-uusapan natin yung feline calicivirus. And mostly affected yung mouth and lungs ng pusa. So some strains ng feline calicivirus cause few or no signs. So yung ibang strain, so may virus yung katawan ng pusa pero walang nakikitang mga sinyales. O kung meron man, konti lang. Maaring konting pamumula, konting sipon, o konting paglalaway. And some strains of feline calicivirus cause mouth squares. So again, may pagsusugat sa loob at labas ng bibig ng pusa. And some strains ng calicivirus causes fluid buildup sa lungs, tinatawag natin pulmonary edema, and pneumonia or inflammation of the lungs. Itong feline calicivirus, nagpuproduce siya ng transient limping syndrome without mouth sores and pneumonia. And very common ito sa mga kitten, sa mga kuting. So nakikita natin na yung kuting, mga 8 to 12 weeks na kitten. So nilalagnat yung pusa, pero very short. May leg limping, katinawag na uh, limping syndrome. At kapag hinawakan mo yung parte o yung paa, ito ay masakit. Itong feline calicivirus na ito, nagkakos ito ng inflammation sa mouth at sa gum. So, namumula yung bibig at yung gilagid ng, ng pusa at nagkakaroon ng mouth sores. At pwede itong magtagal itong uh, signs na ito 7 to 10 days paano naman kinagamot ang gantong uri ng infection so the treatment is based on the symptoms kung ano yung nakikita lang na symptoms yun lang yung gagamutin So, pwede magbigay ng broad spectrum antibiotic especially kung may secondary bacterial infection. At pwede magbigay ng antihistamine especially on the course of the infection kasi sneeze ng sneeze yung pusa. Uh, kung nahihirapan na huminga yung pusa, pwede magnebulization so magnebule yung cat at kung luha ng luha na mamaga yung mata na mumula, pwede maglagay ng eye ointment with antibiotic. And how to prevent this? Of course, through 
vaccination. So, bakunahan yung pusa para makaiwas sa kritong uri ng respiratory infections. I hope may natutunan kayo about my topic for today. Feline respiratory disease complex. So, we have feline viral rhinotrachitis and feline calisi virus. See you in my next discussion. This is Dr. Ron, your master vet signing off. Good day and God bless all. Bye!